time since I posted my last video and as you can see there's a significant difference. Um, I had a whole bunch of hair last time I posted and now I only have this left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was like struggling and trying to figure out what I wanted my next video to be about and so I was asking people like, you know, what should I, what should I record about, what should, what should I talk about and this was before I cut my hair even and they're like talk about your hair talk about like how you style it and whatnot and after I cut my hair it all made sense that I should talk about my hair because the main question that I get asked as of recently is why did you cut your hair you had such beautiful hair it was so long it was so nice and so curly blah, blah blah and so I thought I'd make a video about that um I cut my hair because the bottom line is God told me to and I know that could sound really crazy to some people um, but if you get into a relationship with God and and you really begin to be intimate with him he's gonna tell you some things and start stripping you of some things to draw you even closer to him and a lot of things will be difficult like cutting my hair um, but in the end it's really worth it what happened was is I went and I got a trim and I was coming home from getting my hair trimmed and I go to salon sessions in Pasadena woo -woo. Marissa is the girl to go to she's tight she's got the skills my hair is growing out a little bit so you know don't judge me because I haven't been but you know she got skills so I come home and I'm like, man, she cut too much, blah, blah, blah. Like I always go through the same thing every single time I get my hair trimmed. <laughs> it's like she cuts like an inch or less off and I'm having a heart attack because, oh, now my hair's not long or whatever the case is. I'm just overly dramatic. And God really started dealing with me. I'm, mind you, I'm sitting in like an hour of traffic because it's Pasadena. Um, and God starts dealing with me like... It was only inch like you know you have too much pride in your hair and what was what would happen if you know if it was all gone tomorrow if it all fell out like you know your world would be like wrecked because you put so much like pride in your hair and I really um started to to pray about it and be like God you know if you think this is something that's hindering me then I'll cut it it's nothing I'll cut it and he was like yeah you should do that so, I went back and forth, like, did I really hear God correctly? Like, is that really something that he wants me to do? And ultimately, yeah, he confirmed it again. And I realized in my soul searching in the days leading up to my cutting my hair that I bought into the long hair is prettier, long hair makes you more beautiful. And I bought into that whole thing and that... You know, guys only like you if your hair is like this long or if you wear it straight or if it only curls this way. And I had only just recently started wearing my hair only curly. Um, I straighten it every once in a while, but that was only just to see how long it was. And that, you know, that was a really a big problem for me that um, as I was reflecting that that was a huge thing for me. Like, wow, I really... I'm really buying into this lie about what it takes to look beautiful, like what what makes a person beautiful. And at the end of the day, of course, it's not anything about what you actually look like. It's about what you emulate from the inside out. It's what's overflowing from your heart that makes you beautiful. And so, uh, in the last couple of days before, you know, leading up to me cutting my hair, I was like, oh, like... I don't know, it's going to be gone, it's going to take off for it to grow back, and so I didn't tell anybody about it, um, I posted a picture on my Instagram, little soldier girl, um, that, you know, of a style that I liked, and, um, Marissa had just cut it on somebody else, and I was like, oh, I like this style, so I took that as confirmation that I should really do it, and so, I pulled the audience, everyone was like, oh, it'll look great on you, whatever, whatever, but ultimately, it was, you know, what God had said, like, you need to cut your hair. So, I cut it. And that night, I was really excited about it. Um, 
nobody saw it. I kept it all a mystery. Like, I, I posted pictures of, like, the little pieces of hair all over the floor on Instagram and, and Facebook. And people were like, oh my god, like, what did you do? Like, post it after picture. So I waited until the next day, until the next morning, kept everybody in suspense. And then I posted the after picture. And I was like, oh, it looks so nice, blah, blah, blah. So that night after I got reaffirmed so much that it looks nice, it's really cute on me, that's like, this is like the it style for me and whatnot, I started being like attacked in my mind about, oh, now you look like a boy, your hair is now short, it's not going to grow back, like, now you look ugly, you're never going to get married, like, guys aren't going to look at you anymore, like, all these thoughts started running through my head, and I really had to, like, push and pray and be like, God, like, help me, I know this, none of this stuff is true, I know that, you know, you created me a certain way for a purpose, I know that you wouldn't have led me down this road for, for just anything, like, you have a, a purpose and a plan through this, and so I, you know, struggle back and forth until finally I was at peace about it, and you know, God was really reaffirming me, like, you're beautiful, you're my child, I made you this way, I handcrafted you, like, there's not another person that's exactly like you, I designed you this way for a purpose, and you fit into my plan, so, regardless of what anybody can tell you, it's what God says, you know, that matters, and I really, it really took, you know, some serious praying that night <laughs> to get through that, that moment, because girls, we, as, as women, we wrap um, our our minds and our hearts up around this in, image and this concept of beauty and what it means to be beautiful and it it really took a lot of a lot of prayer and a lot of pushing through to get to a place where I'm like yeah I'm beautiful regardless like so I'm not wearing a whole lot of makeup and it took me a while to get to that point too where okay I don't have to wear makeup to be beautiful I am God's child, and that's what makes me beautiful. I have a heart full of love, and that's what makes me beautiful. I I am loved by by God, and that's, you know, at the end of the day, that's really what matters most. And so I wanted just to, to encourage you that whatever, you know, whatever um, hype about beauty, beauty and being beautiful, whatever the hype is, you don't have to fit into that. It's whatever you feel and whatever is emulated from you and whatever is in the overflow of your heart is that's what make that is what makes you beautiful. And you know, it's the love that you pour out to other people and it's how you give of yourself, give of your time, give of your talent. That those things make you beautiful. How you make people feel loved, how you make people feel accepted, that's what makes you beautiful. And people see that and there's so much like so much that's wrapped up on what people look like right now and I just encourage you and challenge you to really dig deep and find out how God created you on the inside to be beautiful and not about what you look like on the outside whether you have like all kinds of like MAC makeup or whatever and why it's whatever the makeup is that you wear it's not because you can wear it and execute a beautiful smoky eye flawlessly. Like that's not what makes you beautiful. Yeah, it enhances your features, but those is, those are features that God gave you. It's not how you wear your hair. It's not if you like your hair gets frizzy. Like my hair gets frizzy. It's from, it's raining outside. So as soon as I went outside, my hair was like. <laughs> that has nothing to do with you know what makes you beautiful. Sure, you know if you style it a certain way, you can look you know a little bit different or whatever. And it might make you feel beautiful, but it's about what helps you make yourself feel beautiful. You're already beautiful. You're already, you know, flawless in God's sight. He created you a, sp a specific way for a reason. But, you know, do things that make yourself feel beautiful. Style your hair the way you want to. Wear the makeup that you want to. Or don't wear any makeup at all. Take care of your skin. Take care of your body. Put good things in it. And radiate positivity. Um, fill your eyes and your ears with positivity. And that that's really what matters. So, uh, that was my little bit about cutting my hair. I really like it still. It's really awesome to me. It's really convenient. Um, it's less hot. I still get hot, so I pin it all back. And I put bobby pins, and I kind of, like, fluff this part out. And then I have, like, a cute little mohawk going on. And I really, really like it. It's, it's really cute. And so, um, 
you know, find something that works for you. Just enjoy life. Stay close to God. And, you know, if you haven't heard it today, I care about you, not I'm rooting for you. Thank <laughs> you.